About one in eight Americans currently have student loan debt. That's over 40 million people. Well, two major student loan servicers have contracts with the federal government ending in December. So how will this impact those millions of people who have those loan servicers? Our Verify team is looking into it. Fed Loan Servicing and Granite State service millions of federal student loans for the Department of Education. In July, the companies announced that service will come to an end this year. According to the DOE, student loan service by the companies will be transferred to new servicers. Many impacted borrowers are wondering what they need to do before the change is made. So let's verify. Do impacted loans get transferred to new servicers automatically? Our sources include the Department of Education, the Student Borrower Protection Center, the American Federation of Teachers, and Kristen Evans, a student loan finance expert. A spokesperson for the DOE confirmed borrowers will not need to take any action to transfer their federally owned student loans from one servicer to another. However, to ensure the process runs smoothly, Kristen Evans has some advice for borrowers before and after the transfer. Just make sure your contact information is up to date read all your notices, and then set up your account with your new servicer. Doing this helps borrowers protect themselves if there are any errors during the transfer. According to both Evans and the DOE, errors have been an issue in previous mass transfers between servicers. In 2014, there was a mass transfer of loans that impacted more than 1 million people. According to a report from the SBPC and the AFT, that transfer resulted in 5 million separate servicing errors. So we can verify that yes, the loans from Granite State and Fed Loan Servicing will be transferred automatically. But our experts say there is some housekeeping you should do to make sure that the transfer is as easy as possible. 